want to make it big in this bull market because you got bills you got health insurance you got a mortgage you might have a car payment you might have some debt payment you might have a retirement coming up you might have somebody in your family that needs help and you ain't got it somebody's got to have it but you don't and you'd like to be the one to have it whatever it is you want to make a lot of money in this bull market i'm going to give you one very specific reason why the bible says that a wise man and a laborious man a, a hard-working man or woman stores up during summer so that they don't have to be a beggar come winter because many of us don't realize the significance of this bull market and don't realize the necessity of us taking full advantage of this opportunity and today i'm going to talk about the reason why we need to take this bull market so seriously and how we can be prepared for it first and foremost why is this so important why is it so important that a 5 to 10x opportunity is on the table for us right now there's so much about our personal finances that we could talk about but one of the most important things that we need to keep in mind is that there are seasons in the, in life there are seasons of harvest there are seasons of planting there are seasons to work and there are seasons to rest there are seasons to toil and there are seasons to abstain there are all kinds of seasons in life and right now this is a season where we need to prepare for harvest this is the time to plant to use the agricultural example right now is a season to be tilling our fields and plowing and planting seeds that we'll be able to harvest 12 18 months from now when it is time to harvest the problem with it, though, is that many people get into investment not realizing that there's a time to plant before you harvest. And so by the time harvest season comes around, they go out to their field and get ready to harvest it. And there's nothing there because they didn't plant. And so right now is an excellent time to be planting. Right now is the end of winter, beginning of spring. In agriculture, in winter, that's your time to work on the business affairs, hire the people you're going to need because you know summer's coming. And you want to be prepared for spring. Well, spring is here. Spring is sprung, and it's time to plant our seeds. How do we do that? Well, we need to be making wise investments. In what? In cryptocurrency. Stock market, too. I think there's a lot of value there. But specifically in crypto, we're about to see a huge bull market. Huge, huge bull market. All of our analysis points towards that coming uh, starting in the next few months. It's already begun, but really kicking off in the next several months. So we need to plant seeds. I highly recommend putting some into Bitcoin. I highly recommend putting some into altcoins. But I also highly recommend putting some into smaller cap coins. There's a lot of great medium and small cap coins out there, guys. Chainlink, Polygon, Solana, Cardano, Injective, ICP, <clears throat> Caspa, phenomenal, phenomenal protocol. Uh, Arbitrum, oh my goodness. The TVL, almost $7 billion, uh, almost $8 billion, 7.6. Incredible projects are being built out here. Aave, Uniswap, Minswap. Many of these projects, to get back to all-time high, looking at the market cap chart, not the price action chart, looking at the market cap chart, need a 2 to 5x, and many of them will probably double their previous all-time high. So we're looking at a 5 to 10x coming up. So what do we do? Well, I want to lay out for you a very simple system that you can walk away from this video and you can go open a OneNote or a Word document or yellow pad, whatever you want to do, and you can actually write this out and you can walk away and do this. This is exactly what I want you to do right as soon as this video is over. And then we're going to see how we can harvest once we get there. But this is how you plant. What I want you to do is I want you to write out the following sentence, literally. Get a piece of paper, open a Word doc, whatever. Say, I am going to invest in the cryptocurrency market every blank, every Monday, every Friday, every second Thursday, every 15th of the month, every fill in the blank. I am going to invest every blank X amount that's your sentence. I'm going to invest every fill in the blank, fill in the blank amount. So I'm going to invest for, for us. I'm going to invest every Friday in the morning X amount. For you, it might be I'm going to invest every Monday in the afternoon X amount. What should that amount be? Well, we talk about personal finances and how to run that system elsewhere. But if you go through the system that we teach, then you'll eventually get to a number called your net worth generation fund and out of that fund that's the number you would use for many of you guys might be 100 bucks might be 200 bucks might be 500 bucks whatever the number is you can come up with a number and that number that you're going to invest in the market divided by four that's how much you're going to invest every week assuming it's a four week month if it's not and you want to change that then you can fiddle with it on the on the five on the five um five week months but the point is you're going to run that system this first thing you want to do second thing i want you to do on that same yellow pad on that same notebook same one drive, whatever, one note, whatever. So I want you to put three categories, big, medium, small cap. Big cap, that's Bitcoin and Ethereum. They make up almost 70% of the entire market, just the two of them. They are the king and queen of crypto, full stop, period. 
and they're likely going to three to five X at least. I think Bitcoin will go well over $100,000 in this cycle. It's sitting at 42 right now. If it goes to 126, that's a three X. That's pretty great. If it goes to 200, that's about a 4.75 X from where it is right now. That's great. It's a great baseline to build a portfolio off of if you're planning on cycling out this market. Like me, if you're like me, you might not be planning on selling any of it for this market. I'm not planning on selling any Bitcoin at the high. So I'm not really factoring that into my goal, my five to 10 X goal. I think it might three, four, five X, maybe even six X this bull market, but I'm not planning on selling it. I'm gonna hold it forever. My kids are three and nine months old right now. When they're 30, here you go, go start a business. Here's a Bitcoin, you know, there'll be an inheritance there. Ethereum, kind of same deal. I'm holding on to Ethereum for a very long time. But then you get to the medium caps, and this is the kind of coin that you're probably gonna cycle 50, 60, 70, 80% of the coin out of when all time high comes and they're doing really well when harvest season comes. We're not there yet, but we gotta plant now so we can harvest later, right? I think we understand that. Um, I recommend about 50% of the portfolio, 30 to 50% in the big caps, that's Bitcoin ETH. Then about 30 to 50 again in the medium caps. That is uh, anything below Ethereum above about the top 50. So an example would be Chainlink, Polygon, XRP, Binance, Cardano, Solana, Uniswap, um, Litecoin, you know, Bitcoin Cash, those are medium caps. You, we can talk all day about the viability of any of those projects, but those are all medium caps. Medium cap generally was here last bull market, has a big all-time high, hasn't returned to it yet at the time of recording this video in mid-January 2024, um, but it's on, a way, it's on its way up, it's doing well, a lot of development. It's being successful, um, and it's probably worth over a billion dollars, over one to two billion dollars. Then you have your small caps. These I generally recommend about 10 to 30% of your portfolio. Should all add up to 100, obviously. 10 to 30% of your portfolio. Many of these have 10X potential. One of them is Caspa. Another example is Ave. We've also got more. Um, let's see, Gala would be in there. Many of your gaming protocols, much of your AI stuff is gonna be in there. A lot of your Cardano DeFi is gonna be down there. Pretty much everything out of the top 50 that's doing very well, Arbit Arbitrum is already at rank number 70 or something, or 37, 36 or somewhere in there, but I would still consider it a small cap. Um, so those small caps, you're gonna put some in there and they're probably new for the cycle and they've got 10X or more potential. You build a portfolio like that by simply laying out, all right, I've got big caps, medium cap, small cap. How much percentage of that weekly amount am I going to put in? Now I'm putting 30% into big caps, 30% into small caps, 40% into medium caps. So that backwards, 30, 40, 30. What's your ratio? Is it 30, 40, 30? Is it 50, 40, 10? Is it 40, 40, 20? Is it 30, 50, 20? What's your ratio? Write it out. Then you have a budget. See how we're applying budgeting to our investment. And you're gonna have a plan, you're gonna have a structure where you're gonna say, I'm gonna do this, and this is how I'm gonna plant. I want you to walk away knowing how to plant. I'm teaching you how to till the soil and plant some seeds so that in 12, 18 months, when I'm sitting here making a video saying, all right guys, time to sell, you planted and there's something to sell. I don't wanna get to the harvest season and you guys have not planted anything. So I'm telling you how to run the system. This is very simple. People don't tell you this. People are like, oh, you gotta pay my, I do coaching, I have courses, you can buy them if you want, but I'm gonna be going over a lot of this stuff. There's a lot of intricacies, but this is what I'm, this is what I go over with people when I do financial coaching, is this exact system and other systems like it that help with different various areas of investment and personal finance. But anyway, so you've got the three, the, 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 the three um, categories. Now, big caps, that's Bitcoin ETH, how much of the 30, 40, 50, 20%, whatever you budgeted to big caps is going to each. You've got, let's say you budgeted 50% to big caps. Is 25% going to Bitcoin, 25% going to Ethereum? By the way, I recommend your percentages adding up to the overall pie, not having two pies, if that makes sense. Don't do like 50%, 50%, do like 25 and 25%, so that it adds up to the, so that it adds up to what's budgeted for that category. Big cap, medium, smack, me, big cap, medium cap, small cap. Then in the medium caps, you gotta define what coins you're gonna invest in. That's where your altcoin research comes in. You see how the system works. It brings order and organization to your thoughts. Um, are you gonna invest in Chainlink, Polygon, Cardano, Solana, XRP, Binance, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Cosmos, Una said Leo, Injective, are those the coins you're gonna invest in? What coins are you gonna invest in? Pick them, do altcoin research. I've been doing altcoin research and I will share that with you. Um, the fact of the matter is you need to understand what coins you're going to pick, and then you can describe a percentage to them, and that's what you're gonna do every week. Same thing with the small caps. All right, are you investing in Gala? Are you investing in Caspa? Are you investing in Arbitrum? Are you investing in whatever, in the small caps? And then you ascribe percentages there. And then you've got this, I like to think of it like the Nile Delta. You've got all these different paths that the water goes. It's the money, right? Every week you pour a hundred bucks at the top of the funnel, and it just kind of trickles down into every single bucket based on the percentages. And then you're done. 
after you've written that out, I want you to do a third thing and you're gonna just write down, I'm going to do this on these exchanges. Now you have an investment plan. Number one, I am going to, first person, or you know, if you're married, we are going to invest every Friday, $1,000. We are going to invest every Tuesday, $250. That's step one. Step number two is the structure I just laid out for where the money's gonna go every week. Step number three, what exchanges are you gonna do it on? And if you want a fourth step, here's a fourth step. How are you gonna custody this? Is it gonna stay on exchange and stake? Are you gonna move it into cold storage? What's your plan there? That's your dollar cost average plan. Boom, gave you that for free. I charge 200 bucks an hour for financial coaching and I'm gonna be going over the same thing with you. You can check it out, links down below if you wanna do it with me. But there you go. That's a plan for free on how to till the soil and plant seeds so that they can grow up into value, which will help you on your journey towards financial sovereignty. Why is this important? I wanna loop back to that. Why is this important? Again, the Bible talks about in Proverbs about how a good, wise, laborious, and diligent man stores up during the summer so that when winter comes, they don't have to beg. As Christians, as investors, as members of society, it is in our best interest to make sure that we are providing for ourselves so that we're not a burden on others. And listen, if we're in a season where we have to be a burden on others, that's okay. There are times that we need help, right? It's okay to ask for help and it's okay to need help. But at the same time, there's only so much social safety net out there. So it's important to invest in our relationships, but it's also important to invest our money so that if something does hit the fan, if you do find out you have cancer and your health care insurance and your health insurance doesn't cover it or whatever, or your house gets hit by a meteor and the insurance company goes broke the same day, what, what, as, you know, as I say, whatever happens, if something hits the fan, do you have the money in place that you don't become a beggar? My goal is not to make you super rich, although if you follow what I share with you, you will be more than likely. My goal is to make sure you are in control of your finances rather than them having control over you. And that probably will bring about riches, but that's not the ultimate point. The point here is that you have peace. It's that you have joy with your money. My goal is not necessarily for you to have a bunch of extra stuff. It's for you to have as many things as you can manage peacefully and have a life that brings fulfillment and is a light to the world that they may view you and glorify your father, which is in heaven for the Christians watching. So when the season comes to sell your coins, I hope that right now in January, in February, March of 2024, as Bitcoin and altcoins are trading sideways, that you put this plan in place, you made some investments, so that when it time comes time to harvest, you have something that you planted to harvest. And I look forward to seeing you at the top. And I do believe Bitcoin and crypto will go through a massive rally. So this was exactly how to make millions in the Bitcoin and altcoin bull market that's coming in the year of 2024 and 2025. Peace.